Madam Secretary, Mr. Young uh, submitted for the record this report, The Irony of Obamacare Making Inequality Worse. I'd like to read uh, the conclusion which says, for two years labor unions, employer partners have patiently explained to the Obama administration and Congress the potential damage that the ACA poses to these unique, successful nonprofit plans. Having already made efforts to accommodate businesses, churches, congressional staff, it's ironic the administration is now highlighting issues of economic inequality without acting to preserve health plans that have been achieving the goals of ACA for decades. Without a smart fix, the ACA will heighten the inequality that the administration seeks to reduce. We take seriously the promise that if you like your health plan, you can keep it, period. You not hear members like their health care plans. Unite Here members plan on plans are ready to compete with the corporate giants of healthcare industry if Washington will simply create a level playing field. There were three articles in local papers in my district I'd like to submit for the record, Mr. Chairman, that highlight this very issue. Uh, the Mansfield Journal Mansfield Journal reported on Monday that only six of the Obamacare exchange plans in Richland County include the only hospital in the county, Med Central, in network. The Marion Star reported on Monday only six of the 26 Obamacare plans in, uh, in uh, Marion County have Marion General Hospital, again, the only hospital in Marion County in network. And finally, the Newark Advocate reported only six of the 26 Obamacare exchange plans in Licking County consider the only hospital in Licking County, Licking Memorial, to be in network. That means that three quarters of the exchange insurance plans in these counties don't give access to county residents to the only hospital and hundreds of doctors in network. And because many of my constituents now are facing the choice of being in network and having to travel out of the county maybe 100 miles to a hospital and are now losing doctors that they had, and these were people who had insurance and now have, lo now have been forced to go into the exchanges and in the county in which they reside, they can't even go to their hospital. This is a problem just beginning. I spoke, we spoke to a lady in the office yesterday, a, a Central Ohioan, who wanted me to give you her name. Her name's Colleen. She had health care. Now she's one of the four million in the exchange. And she has a plan that she's paying more for, that she doesn't like, that she actually lost her doctor. She liked what she had. She couldn't keep it. And now she can't even keep the doctor that she had. So the articles aren't misinformation or disinformation. The union report, not supportive of Republicans, by the way, is not disinformation. And yet there seems to be a, a, a disinformation campaign within the administration that this is all just make-believe. Madam Secretary, please help us reassure our constituents that the administration is going to deal with the reality that's hitting the ground, and that's people are losing their doctor, and now they're losing their hospital. All right, thank you.